Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Welcome back again. Welcome back, guys. So we had shared with you that we got the message from our guides and, you know, also from the Galactics that we should use the system to beat the system. Absolutely. And don't, you know, just one thing they're saying is to don't get comfortable. Like when you get into the swing of things with the system and say they ease up on certain laws or, or, or something like that. Don't then just stay put. No, keep pedaling forward to get out of the system. Yeah, because this system is all about control. And this system is being taken to all new places. And really, you know, it's it's abusing the average individual on this planet to all new heights. Well, it really, really is. And, you know, if we do it this way, then each individual, everybody who is in the system can start, you know, stepping out of the system no matter where you're at in life. As we see this headline right here, uh, NASDAQ temporarily shuts down stock trading after Internet trolls destroy hedge fund with GameStop stock. The NASDAQ has paused trading after Internet quote unquote degenerates spotted Wall Street gearing up to make a killing, beat the traders at their own game, and got filthy rich while destroying the U.S. top hedge funds. Buckle up. We are actively monitoring social media chatter and will halt stock if we match chatter with unusual activity in stocks. NASDAQ CEO Adina Friedman announced on Wednesday morning. Speaking to CNBC, Friedman demanded regulators intervene to stop the manipulation that's seen amateur investors completely leave one of America's top hedge funds, Melvin Capital, teetering on the edge of bankruptcy. As trading opened, Friedman kept her word and the buying and selling of GameStop stock was halted intermittently throughout the morning in a bid to stave off the manipulation, quote unquote, she warned about. But was it about one failing video games retail company? What was it that sparked such a panic on Wall Street? I didn't even know there really was any of those left anymore. Honestly, a fixture in American shopping malls, GameStop once held uh, launch night parties for the biggest annual releases, but has seen its business fall off a cliff in recent years due to digital purchasing and the decline of malls nationwide. Enter the short sellers. Put simply, hedge funds looking to capitalize on failing businesses can borrow shares in a company, immediately sell them, and ideally buy them back later at lower price to pay back the original lender while pocketing the difference. This is the system, right? Should the price rise instead of fall, however, these funds have to pay back the shares at the new higher price. Profiting off of a failing business may seem either a canny move or the epitome of vulture capitalism, but it's common practice. Wall Street's top investing firms even help each other identify stocks ripe for the picking, as Citron Research did when it deemed GameStop a failing mall-based retailer in a terminal decline. Citron Research and Melvin Capital both bought tens of millions of dollars worth of short positions in GameStop but soon learn the hard way that in short selling, there's no end to the amount of money that one can lose. The two million members of Reddit's Wall Street Bets community took an interest in GameStop back in August when they noticed the arrival of a pet supply e-tailer, Chewy, Chewy's co-founder Ryan Cohen, to its board, signaling there was some life in the company yet. When they noticed that Melvin Capital and Citron had bought the short stock, uh, the stock short, they decided to start buying, pumping up its value, partly to make a buck and partly to punish the hedge, fund, hedge funds for profiting off the death spiral of a store ingrained in their childhood memories. Throughout January, GameStop's value shot up from $18 a share to $347 on Wednesday. That's a hell of an increase. Mm -hmm. As hedge fund managers whined and raged on television and Twitter, the Wall Street Bets community dug in their heels and continued to buy. Both funds took a beating with rumors of Melvin Capital's bankruptcy circulating on Tuesday. Melvin manager Gabe Plotkin told CNBC the rumors were false, but the fund still needed a bailout of nearly $3 billion to cover its losses before it closed its position that afternoon. Centron's 
Andrew Leff said on Wednesday that he had managed to close his position at a loss of 100%. Yeah, wow. Uh, this is really interesting stuff, is it not? Uh, with short sellers down $6 billion as of Tuesday, the self-described degenerates of Wall Street bets posted screenshots of their ballooning bank balances reveling in their newfound wealth as Wall Street suffered. One poster reportedly turned uh, $55,000 into $13 million, while another posted a screenshot of his $64,000 gain, announcing that now I can write my mom a check and put my sister through Lyme's treatment. This has been a very rough year, but I'm so thankful for every single one of you. Life-changing money is turning into a destiny-changing money, uh, wrote another on Tuesday night. The titans of Wall Street seethed. Investor Michael Burry, who made a fortune in the 2008 subprime mortgage crisis, said in a now-deleted tweet on Tuesday that trading in GameStops, in trading in GameStop is unnatural, insane, and dangerous, and there should be legal and re regulatory repercussions. Well, of course, because the ones with power, the the ones that made, and not that these. You know, hedge fund people are the ones that made $540 billion since the beginning of the plague upon the land. We know that that's, you know, other people mostly, but it's just a symptom of a sick society. And it's only a crime because in this case, the little guy won. Right. I noticed the word <laughs> manipulation there, not not because anybody had done anything wrong, but just exactly like you said, the big guy lost. So now the name of it, now we're being manipulated. Um, this is such a wonderful example. These guys have a head start and, you know, to use this money or this cash to buy a piece of land, start a homestead and be able to become completely self-sufficient would be completely ideal, you know. And that's what I would do anyway. I would use this system to get out of the system. Um, I would I would imagine they're probably going to stay in the system, but that's okay. It's just a great example of what the guides are talking about. Exactly, because the corruption is being exposed. You know, the the less than one percent, they're doing better than they've ever done before. Meanwhile, you know, the ninety nine point something is suffering more than ever before. So. Boy, that feels kind of like a modern-day Robin Hood story in some ways. Does, does it not? Am I the only one that feels that way? It, I, I think it's beautiful. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, here's some of your own medicine. Yeah, and uh, I was watching a, a video by a, uh Italian priest, and he was, he was just saying it exactly as what it is. You know, there's this tiny group that is controlling everything, and now they're taking absolute complete dictatorial control over the entire globe and everything on it claiming everything as being theirs plain and simple and and even you know saying that we can't even talk about it not even speak about it you know don't even speak about it just accept it and uh it's fascinating to see all this it really really is and uh as we've been saying, you know, this system is the control. It's the control. So if this whole financial system disappeared, and, you know, we know that there, there are plans for a great reset in which it's just going to get worse. No, no, no. What we have to do is get out of this system. That's why, you know, I'm not one for Bitcoin. I'm not one for anything that is going to be just so easily manipulated and controlled through cyberspace there's nothing real there there's nothing real we have to get back to real i mean real would be actual tangible items you know like cindy had a vision uh seeing in f about five years time there was going to be some communities coming together where people are working together and they're trading they're trading uh goods they're trading skills uh you know trading work with each other they're not doing things that these parasites can either tax or get their cut of, even though there's no reason for them to get any cut. When you think about this, you know, we have been so taken advantage of by this system. Mm -hmm. We really have. And with this vision, I saw a regular 
um, blocks, you know, city blocks. And I was looking down and the people were moving uh, amongst the houses, amongst each other, trading fruits and veg vegetables and stuff. So these communities are just, they're going to wherever they're at they're going to transform that's the vision i got and we're going to have a lot of that and i'm really super happy about that it makes my heart beat yeah and, and we've shared with you like our vision of finding a, a, a decent little place that will be uh something that we could have paid off and maybe only have a few hundred dollars taxes you know somewhere where they don't tax you to death and you know we would be happy with you know what most people probably wouldn't be happy with um just kind of like a, a little bit of a shack as long as you're in a spot where you could grow your own food uh and just be on your own and then start to work with friendly neighbors and and grow from there uh and my vision of what the future looks like when humanity is free from all this is not one of you know being shackled to technology it's kind of like you know going back to the future, so to speak, one where we're more in tune with the land, more one where we're living a little bit more simply. There may be uh, incredible technologies that we have at our access, but we haven't forgotten how to live in harmony with the land and each other. That's, that's of prime importance. Right. We need to get back to that place where we can remember how to work with the land, how to mesh with the land, and become friends with the land once again. Yes. And there is a tie, as we've alluded to, and we've talked about with uh, the whole concept of the divine feminine, you know, because we view the earth as like the mother. You know, if you if you take the, the native way of looking at it as father sky and mother earth, um, you know, it's it's so out of balance. Our whole way of life, everything is so, so out of balance. But there is hope. There is hope, and I do think things are going to change. And it does feel like the timeline is shifting into a more uh, positive one in that people are waking up enough that they're starting to take back their own individual freedoms. Right. I know. It's a beautiful thing. This this excites me, what happened here, because it's such a great example. Yes. And if we look over uh, at the biggest country that there is, uh, the leader of that country uh, made a very interesting statement that I can't say because it, we won't be allowed to say it. And I don't even know if we're going to be allowed to upload this video, honestly, because, you know, it's, it's getting to the point where <laughs> you can't talk about much, um, at least on certain venues. If you guys understand me, YT, yeah. you know, uh, you, you just can't because it's, you know, it's it's getting to be so policed. But um, if you look at what President P said over there in the cold land, you know, the president the lace go <laughs> wrestle bears naked in the snow. Um, he made a, quite a statement today, and it makes me think that we won't be seeing him too much longer. Uh, I would not be surprised at all. I've heard rumors that he's, he's going to be replaced, and I wouldn't doubt it now, uh, honestly. Right. You know, I mean, once you start getting bold and speaking some truth, that's when you start getting targeted. For sure. So, guys, thanks for being part of the family. Please do subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, click the bell. And also, thanks for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon because we couldn't do it without you guys over there with everything that's going on in this world. Yep. As always, God bless and namaste. Namaste.